what's up everyone welcome back happy new year so for the first video of 2021 i thought i would do something kind of fun and have a ratchet showdown mainly because you know i've had these two the snap-on and matco ratchet for a few years but now finally i got a hold of one of the new-ish mac 92 ratchets with little let's see if we can see it let's get some light with the little usa flag going on on the switch and got that little bitty handle on it but so i thought it'd be fun to pull out a bunch of 3 8 ratchets including those guys and do a comparison video and then I realized I have way too many 3 8 ratchets to do this in one video. So this is going to probably have to be more than one video to talk about these. So the main focus is going to be these three ratchets. They're very similar in length. The snap-on is a little bit longer, but not, a, not much. It's about that much longer. And then the Mac and the Matco are just about the same length. I think the Matco may be just a little longer because of this goofy handle, but otherwise they're pretty much the same. Now, these three are all flex head. This The Mac is a locking flex head, or the Matco is a locking flex head, um, but whatever. I don't really ever use it locked. So, let's get started. The one I've had the longest, not specifically this one because I I wanted to try out the new handle because Snap-on's handles grew recently within the last couple of years. As you can tell, there's a significant difference in the size of the handle. Uh, I'm not too sure I like it. I kind of think I prefer the old handle better. But anyway, I do love this ratchet. The Let's get this part number. The F HLF80A. Uh, it's been what I've used for the longest out of any of these ratchets. Um, it's kind of the standard, in my opinion, that everyone else is trying to beat. Um, couldn't even tell you how long it is. It's a certain length. <laughs> Do I have a measuring tape here? I'm sure one of y'all is going to be screaming at me going, it's 13, 14, and 3 eighths, or something stupid like that. But anyway, but the next one I got was the Matco, and I've had it for about three years now, and it has a really long part number, BFR128LFG. Let me see if y'all can even see that. And... I happen to really like the length on this one. I'm guessing it's about about 12 or 13 inches. I'm not a fan of the lock. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, it's fine locked in a straight position or as a flex head. I don't think I've ever used it locked in some different position other than straight. And then the newest that I'm very excited about because I've been seeing seeing these and thinking they look amazing are these new Mac Axis 92 ratchets. Um, the grip is a little different, whereas these, the snap-on is just round. You get a little bit of a hand, just a tiny little hand stop right there, but it's pretty much round. And then you go the other way, and this is, the Matco is just curved and goofy. It's a very goofy handle. Uh, it's okay, but it kind of feels weird. This big, huge, bulbous end on it is kind of weird. Uh, but I do like the length on it. It's a good length. And the Mac is actually the smallest handle, but it is flat, much flatter on the sides. And that's it kind of gives you that you could push up against it, and it would be very comfortable to push on. So, haven't used it yet. Very excited. Just got it. It took some work to get since I don't have a Mac guy and I didn't want to use one. 
So getting a hold of a brand new 90 tooth. Part number on this, let's see if we can see the XR1390 AFPA. And then there's a 3U. I'm guessing that's some kind of date code stamp that I don't know. Um, as far as the way they hinge, the all know Snap-on has that little fork design, as does Matco. And then the Mac has the reverse fork where the, right there, instead of on the handle side. Uh, it's kind of like the, the longer snap-ons have that right there. Uh, and that and some of the specialty ones have that reverse fork on them. So the snap-on is, of course, 82. Matco's 88. Kind of sounds a little weird, but. And then the Mac is a 90 tooth. It's very smooth, very fine teeth. Very similar to the Snap On. Not quite as smooth as the Snap On, but it's definitely very smooth. Very smooth ratchet. And so, my thoughts are for probably going to make three or four videos and go through individual ratchets is you know which ones should you get there's so many different ratchets now of course the answer is all of them but if all of them is not an option which ones do you get and i thought i would compare some others that are similar lengths today and then we'll probably get into the specialty style on a different different day because these aren't really made for every job everyday use this one may be the only one that would really be close to that but it's still kind of awkward if you try to use it but there are some other ones that over in this section that could be everyday use this is the the chinese craftsman one i don't recommend this one i've had this one many 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 years it's broken actually there's something wrong with the head on it and at some point my plan is, is Craftsman's going to start making USA ratchets, and I'm going to trade this in for one. Then we also have the older Duralast from AutoZone. It's a 72 tooth. And it's okay. It's a little clunky, but not too bad. I beat this thing up. It's worked well. It hasn't broke. And then they replaced it with the newer Duralast. The Chinese made, which actually looks extremely similar to the Matco. They have the same, very similar designs on the head. The head's slightly different. I believe this is the same as the new gear wrenches. Um, but this, I think this is a 90 tooth. It may be 100. It's either 90 or 100, but it's got a very smooth ratcheting mechanism on it. Uh, changes directions extremely smooth and I've the only thing I don't like is it's got that semi locking I'm just not a fan of that but that's a decent little ratchet I've played with it some um, then we have the Tecton which I only have the smaller one but once again it's got that but it's got extremely smooth I think this one's a 90 tooth yeah I'm pretty sure that's a 90 tooth I'm starting to lose count because there's so many of them but it's I really do think this is a great little ratchet for the money, but it is kind of short. I know they have a longer one now, but at the time they didn't. But the last of these is the Capri 72 tooth. Uh, it's a decent little ratchet, very inexpensive. The only issues I have with it, it's not exactly the smoothest, and sometimes it'll bind up. I've been trying to use it as much as possible, hoping it'll break in a little more and be a little smoother but it does seem to be getting a little bit smoother but overall decent ratchets held up well i think what i'll do is go back and make videos using each of these and just show you all except for this one because it's broken but and then down here we have some well besides that some shorter ones this was the first first snap-on ratchet i ever got and i just rebuilt it a couple of months ago for the first time but it's just a straight handled, I think it's FL80, that's it, FL80, just good.
good solid ratchet right there. Um, my go-to that I use more than any other ratchet is the FHF 80A. It's not the long one, but I use this one a good bit. I really like this little ratchet. And then the one I've never used before <laughs> is the FF 80A. It's just, you know, a real short flex head. Eventually I'll uh, get around to playing with it and using it. A, a short non-flex head Capri, which very interesting about this, is they have two different designs on the ratchets. The long flex head has your little C-clip, whereas this has the screws. So same company, just different heads. Then we got the straight push button version of the Duralast. And then an older Tecton, which it's just a big chunk. You see how big this thing is. It's the head on it's massive. It came with a little set I had. But anyway. But back to where we started. I think the three that are going to be my main comparison over the next few videos will be these three. I'm going to use them, maybe make some videos using them. Um, I think these are probably the three best 3 8 ratchets you could buy right now. I mean, someone may say Cornwell has one better, but I, yeah, it's probably not. Um, this one is tried and true, as is this one. You know, I, I really don't want to like this ratchet because it's got such an ugly handle on it, but it does a good job. I haven't had any problems with it binding up or breaking. Uh, of course, same thing. Now, back in the day, I used to go through these things constantly. I used to break these constantly because I was using them, you know, when I first got one, I was using it for everything. Anything I could stick it on, I would try to break it loose with it. And since then, I've got some decent half-inch ratchets. And so I don't use the 3 8 to do stupid stuff anymore. And then we're going to have to give this guy a good try because I think this is going to be a great little ratchet. Uh, I like how small it is. Or small or round. It's got a very thin handle on it compared to the other two. It's slightly thinner than the Matco and it's considerably thinner than the Snap-on. But it's the chrome job on this thing, very nice. It's on par with the Snap-on. The Matco's chrome is usually comes pre-scratched. <laughs> they never look very good. They never have a very, very bright chrome on them. Um, the, I guess the cleanest one I have is this one, and it's or the least scratched, and it's still just, it's not great. But that doesn't really matter. You know, the, how it looks isn't that big of a deal. It does, this one does perform well. Um, so it honestly, if you were looking at one of these three, it would really just come down to which, you know, which tool truck takes care of you the best. You know, which one do you think is going to be there to warranty it if something does break? Because I don't think there's going to be a huge difference between the three. Honestly, I would probably, if, you, if all three, if it was just had to pick one, it'd probably be the Snap-on just because I've had the most experience. The Matco, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'm I'm going to try this guy out. I think this one may be my new favorite. We're going to see over the next few weeks, but I think I may have a new favorite. I really like the way this thing looks and feels. So, anyway, stay tuned, because I got sockets. I got some Tecton sockets, uh, Snap-on, Mac sockets, and I forgot to bring my Matcos, but in the next video, I'll have some actual Matco chrome sockets. And I do have some Duralast sockets over there. So I'm going to get to work with all these different ratchets and uh, tell you what I think. And try to pick a winner. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick between these three. But I can also tell you a little bit of which ones of these to get and not to get. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about some specialty stuff. Things that are odd. But anyway, until then, y'all have a good evening. I'll see y'all later.